What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another unique hybrid Android TV box. Now a hybrid TV box is basically an Android TV box combined with multi-satellite TV tuners, giving you the best of both worlds, online video streaming and access to offline satellite television. So this is the FreeSat GTC hybrid TV box. So as usual, we'll run our full performance tests, including 4K videos, gaming benchmarks, and we'll see how it ranks in our top TV box performance charts, comparing it to other Android TV boxes. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this is everything you get in the box. You have a user manual, an HDMI cable, a UK power adapter, a remote control. Now this is a full featured remote control with EPG guide, text, record, PVR functions. So this is going to be quite a useful remote control. And last but not least, the FreeSat GTC. So here it is guys. So the first thing to mention is this is made completely from plastic. You've got plenty of ventilation on the top and the sides. And on the front you have an LCD display with the FreeSat logos. If we keep going, on the back of the unit, you have your TV tuners, first of all. So that's your DVB-S2, and that's your DVB-T2 slash C. You've got your network LAN port, your HDMI out, optical out, USB 2, and your power socket. And if we keep going on this side, you have a micro SD card slot and another USB port. That brings us back to the front, and this is what the bottom of the system looks like. And again, you've got plenty of ventilation going all the way around. So to give you guys an idea of the size, I will bring in the H96 Max. So you can see side by side, the FreeSat box is much bigger. Put it on top. And in thickness as well. So now I'm going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card. And we're going to find out how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test. And this TV box took 16 seconds to fully load the home screen. And this is what the home screen looks like. It's very simple. You have just five fixed shortcuts. And if you navigate to the far right, you'll get another screen showing you all the default apps installed on this system. So you have some popular apps to get you started like Netflix, YouTube, Mobdro, Kodi, and of course the full version of the Google Play Store, giving you access to a huge library of games, apps, movies, and a lot more. Furthermore, you have 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are 11 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running Android version 6. Now, Android version 6 in 2018 does not feel right, does it? But I'm not going to knock it till I fully tested it. Some useful info for advanced users. This box is rooted from standard and here is your DRM info. So now we're going to check out the TV tuners and how to get set up. So open up the DVB app, select the TV tuner you're going to be using. I'm going to select the DVB T2 tuner, which is my indoor RF antenna. Now select your country and hit auto search. And when this search reaches 100%, all free to air channels in your area will be picked up and stored and ready for you to watch. So as you can see, we have found lots of TV and radio channels, including some HD channels. Listen, are we gonna talk about the football that he plays? Because generally. Yes, and big vision. Whatever. Duty, honor, and morals. I'm sick of all that. We got to make a plan to get that boy to kiss you. Tomorrow, when he takes you for that ride. And the family of a British woman jailed for three years in Egypt on drugs. I did ask Linford Christie for his autograph once. It was Gary Spades when I was nine. And he said no. Found Mr. Weenie. Hurry. <laughs> That's spinning and he's more powerful than the F1. Someone set me up. Someone from the inside. When so you have a seven day EPG guide, you can record live TV and the files are saved on your USB drive in a TS format. And I'll play back a recording to show you what to expect. Lovely hair. I did ask Linford Christie for his autograph once. It was Gary Spades when I was nine. And he said no. So that was the pretty impressive TV tuner. Now let's move on to some 4K video samples from a USB drive.
So that was 4K videos. Let's move on now to the YouTube test. You can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. What is that? That is London. We're running out of time. You've seen what's happening out there. We're coming up behind! We've got a bank to 11 in progress. Suspects are armed and they have taken hostages. All units stand down. You watching? Yep. How the hell are you gonna get out of this? Moving on to the gaming test. In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 14 megabits per second and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent score considering the top speeds we currently achieve is between 15 to 20 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 34,322. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018, showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. I have removed some discontinued models from this chart. This is the new look. Things have been moved around to make it more convenient to read. So as you can see, the FreeSat GTC has achieved position 31 on this chart. Now if we compare this TV box to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing TV boxes for under $100. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores. And on this chart, the FreeSat GTC has achieved position 21. You can view all my charts online, including the full 2017 versions at chigstech.com and read them all at your leisure. I have removed discontinued models which are no longer available to buy. Also, problematic TV boxes with firmware issues have also been removed. We still have some Android version 6 boxes on this chart which I could not remove as they have special features such as TV tuners or hard drive caddies. So it'll be interesting to see what 2018 will bring us in the world of TV boxes. I already have at least three new H96 models on my desk that need to be reviewed. So stay tuned, 2018 will definitely be an exciting year for Android TV boxes. So there you have it guys, that was the FreeSat GTC Hybrid Android TV Box. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So this is a new unknown hybrid TV box and it's certainly the underdog. To sum it up, this is an excellent 4K hybrid Android TV box with an absolutely amazing triple DVB TV tuner which I thoroughly tested and enjoyed. You can play, pause and record live TV and live TV through the tuners do not require any internet connection, they work via satellite dishes or antennas. Meanwhile you can stream 1080p on YouTube and 480p on Netflix. All the games I tested played well with no frame drops at all, supports Bluetooth, comes rooted as standard. Now onto the cons, you have Android version 6, which was actually very fast and stable in operation, but it's now 2018, and Android version 7 should be completely standard and the absolute minimum one can expect. Nevertheless, as this is a special device with multiple TV tuners, not having Android 7 is forgivable. Furthermore, as soon as I powered up, there was an update available, so this box does support OTA updates quite nicely, and I'm hoping the makers will release Android version 7 via OTA, and if this happens, you know I will cover it on the channel. Furthermore, there was no USB 3 support either. Bottom line, this is a great 4K hybrid Android TV box which handled everything very well. Plays games, live TV, movies, and the latest Kodi builds also ran quite smooth. Supports all third-party apps, and the best feature is the TV TV tuner with PVR recording functions. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.